Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about ambiguous grammar in theory of computation and finite languages and automata theory course. It is one of the important concept and the most asked question in examinations. Now, in this video, we have to discuss about what is the definition of ambiguous grammar and one example problem. Okay. First of all, suppose I am taking one context free grammar. If this grammar generates the same terminal string by using two different leftmost derivation trees or a two different rightmost derivation trees, then that grammar is called as ambiguous grammar. Now, we have to verify this grammar is ambiguous grammar or not for generating this string. Now, in this example, I am considering leftmost derivations. Two leftmost derivation trees exist for this uh, string by using this grammar or not. First, leftmost derivation. First, leftmost derivation tree. Now, I am considering this production E tends to E plus E. Okay. In this production, what is the leftmost non-terminal? Here, this is the leftmost non-terminal on the right hand side. We are substituting this production in the place of leftmost non-terminal. So, here the production is E tends to ID. So, this can be replaced as ID plus E. Now, what is the leftmost non-terminal here? E is the leftmost non-terminal. So, now we are substituting this production in the place of leftmost non-terminal E. So, that is E tends to E star E. Now, we are substituting E into E in the place of E. Okay. Next, what is the leftmost non-terminal here? This is the leftmost non-terminal. We are substituting E tends to ID in the place of this non-terminal E. So, ID plus ID into E. Now, what is the leftmost non-terminal? Here, this one. Okay. Now, again substitute E tends to ID production in the place of E. So, ID plus ID star ID. Now, we are getting the terminal string id plus id star into id. Okay. Now, whenever we are getting this terminal string, we have to stop the procedure. Now, we have to draw the leftmost derivation tree. First, I am taking E. E generates this production E plus E. Next, in the place of E, we are substituting ID. After that, in the place of leftmost non-terminal E, we are substituting E star E. E star E. After that, we are substituting ID in the place of E. After that, we are substituting ID in the place of E. Now, whatever the terminal symbols are there, that terminal symbols we have to add 
then we are getting this terminal string. So, id plus id star, id plus id star into id. So, this is one leftmost derivation tree we are getting. Okay. Next, I am taking another <coughs> leftmost derivation tree for the same string. So, second leftmost derivation tree. Now, first I am taking second production E dens to E star E. Now, substitute E dens to E plus E in the place of leftmost non-terminal. This is the leftmost non-terminal. In that place of leftmost non-terminal E, we are substituting this production. So, E plus E into E. So, what is the leftmost non-terminal here? So, this is the leftmost non-terminal. So, we are substituting E dense to ID in the place of leftmost non-terminal E. So, then we are getting id plus e into e. Next one. What is the leftmost non-terminal here? So, this is e. Now, we are substituting e dense to id in the place of leftmost non-terminal. So, id plus id into e. Again, what is the leftmost non-terminal here? This is E. Now, again, we are substituting the production E dense to ID in the place of E. So, then what we are getting? So, ID plus ID star ID. Now, we are getting the desired terminal string. Now, we have to draw the leftmost derivation tree. First, I am taking E dense to E star E. E star E. After that, what is the leftmost non-terminal? Here E. In the place of E, I am substituting E plus E. Then, what is the leftmost non-terminal? Here, this one. In the place of E, I am substituting ID. Then, what is the leftmost non-terminal here? This one. Here, we are substituting. In the place of E, we are substituting ID. After that, what is the leftmost non-terminal? E. So, now again, we are substituting ID in the place of E. Now, we have to combine all the terminal strings. Then, we are getting the terminal string id plus id star id. Now, this is the leftmost derivation tree for generating the id plus id star into id. This is also leftmost derivation tree for generating the same terminal string id plus id star into id. So, for the given same terminal string, the grammar G generates two different leftmost derivation trees. Then, that grammar is called as ambiguous grammar. Okay. So, now, we can go for the definition. A context-free grammar G, that is E dense to E plus E, E dense to 
E star E, E tends to ID. This is the given context free grammar. This grammar generates two different leftmost derivation trees. So this is one leftmost derivation tree and this is the another leftmost derivation tree for the same terminal string. The terminal string is id plus id star into id. So then this grammar is called as ambiguous grammar because this leftmost derivation tree is different with this leftmost derivation tree. So that we can say that the given grammar G generates two different leftmost derivation trees for the same terminal string, then that grammar is called as ambiguous grammar. So this is the uh, definition and example for ambiguous grammar. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button and click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. Please forward this video to your friends and classmates. So please subscribe my YouTube channel. So Divvela Srinivasarao. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. If you have any doubts, Please put your doubts in the comment section. I will clarify your doubts. Thank you. Thank you one and all.